Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today, we're in the nerve center of the Bible Bistro, and we're looking this week and next week at Psalm 10. So this is another two-parter. We've already been through Psalm 9. We did a two-parter in Psalm 9, and many uh, translators, many commentators, ancient and modern, will group Psalms 9 and 10 together. And I, I have no qualm with that. I think it's fine if they do that. Psalm 10, however, gives us something special. It actually gives us several things special. This is, number one, an answer to theodicy. And number two, it is a definition of the wicked. Now, I've, I know I've kind of uh, promoted that over the last several weeks that we're going to talk about this definition of the wicked and what it means. This is not all conclusive here in Psalm 10, but what I have outlined in this psalm are 14 different ways in which the wicked man is described. So in the Psalms, we have the wicked man spoken of a lot. He, you know, we kind of get familiar with him. We kind of know his tactics and the things that he does. Here in Psalm 10, we really get a distillation of all that he is about. Now, David adds to it as he goes through the Psalms, and the other writers do too. They, they add to this definition, but here is the principal point where we sit down and we look very closely at the wicked man, and we find out something about him. The psalm begins with verses 1 and 2, and in verses 1 and 2, let me read those for you today. Why, O Lord, do you stand in the distance? You conceal yourself now when there is trouble, when the pride of the wicked burns against the poor. May they be caught in the evil devices which they have planned. So the problem of theodicy is very clearly seen right here in this particular, in these two verses. The question is, why, Lord? Why do you stand in the distance? So the psalmist is asking why God doesn't act. This is the first of many psalms in which the psalmist addresses the problem of evil in the world. And my favorite one of all of those is Psalm 73, but this is a good one too, um, because he's going to answer his question, why, Lord, do you stand in the distance, in verses 14 through 18 in the last half of this 10th Psalm. 14 through 18 describes the Lord's response to all of this. So why do you stand in the distance? You can see yourself now when there is trouble. Why is that? That's a good question, isn't it? And it's one that we've all posed. Why isn't God doing more to right the wrongs in the world? Verse 2, When the pride of the wicked burns against the poor, may they be caught in the evil devices which they have planned. So we're going to find out about the wicked and about his burning desire to trap the poor and the devices that they use. So we're going, and we'll begin that tomorrow in verse 3. So we're going to have, as I said, 14, and it's going to take us all the way through uh, verse 13. We're going to have 14 different steps, 14 different degrees of the wickedness of men. We're going to look at all of them all the way through verse 13 of Psalm 10. And then at the end, we answer the question of evil in the world or God's response to it in verses 14 through 18. So I hope you'll stay with me all week and all next week as we explore Psalm 10 and this very, very important definition of wickedness. When the pride of the wicked burns against the poor, what recourse do we have? When the evil devices that they have planned catch the poor, what recourse do we have? And notice that we're talking about the poor here, and that's going to be repeated throughout this psalm as well. And who's the poor man? The poor man is the one who is dependent upon the Lord. He's the one who cries out to the Lord for aid. And we're going to find out more about him, not as much in this psalm, but in other psalms such as Psalm 34 and Psalm 36. The poor man is nicely described there. All right, well, join me tomorrow and for the next two weeks as we look at Psalm 10. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.